Now let me tell you something, kid. I've been around the block. I know what I'm talking about. There are two kinds of people in this world. There are virgins, <laughs> you know, losers, soy boys, beta males, etc, etc. And then, ho oh, ho, and then, there are the chads. The dominant species, the upper echelon of masculinity, the alpha males. If a virgin parks his rinky-dink, eight-year-old, beat-up, rusty sedan at the back of a Walmart parking lot, a chad parks his eight-foot-tall monster truck directly in front of the fire exit. When a virgin buys something on Amazon, he chooses no rush shipping because he doesn't want to be a bother. But when a chad purchases an item on Amazon, he gets next day shipping. You think he has time to wait? He's got sh to do! Now I, I personally, <laughs> I'm sure you already know about this, I am 100% chad. A level six alpha. I had the leg of a bear for breakfast this morning. I wrestle tigers for fun. My nuts are literally made of solid steel. That's true, actually. Um, I was born with solid steel nuts. Um, they can still store pee just fine, so I don't think it's a big issue. Anyways, do you understand what I'm saying yet? Is any of this getting through your head? It's, it's no problem. There's a subreddit for it. r slash virgins versus chat. Let's take a look. Here we have the family virgin versus the Chad of the hill. But now, the, let me tell you about this family virgin, all right? He's sh at grilling, usually unemployed. His only daughter is a loser. He wears weird green pants, probably from Goodwill. No watch, he never knows the time. He stinks, he probably doesn't even shower, and he has plain, boring shoes. But now, oh yeah, let me tell you about the Chad of the hill and he's an absolute legend on the grill. He sells propane and propane accessories. His daughter is popular and successful. Has the Chad Timekeeper 9000. Always knows the time. Natural Chad hormones, he smells great no matter the time. He's got dad blue jeans and Chad work boots. Now, I, I think it's pretty obvious that the Chad of the Hill could easily defeat the family virgin. I mean, just look at him. Uh, what? All you gotta do is push him over and he can't get back up. Wow, you beat him, congratulations. The Chad of the Hill will inherit this earth. Hell, he already owns it anyways. While the family virgin is just gonna go on for another 20 seasons and then probably win an Emmy or something. Here we have the deaf virgin versus the blind Chad. Now let me tell you, let me tell you about this stupid virgin, all right? He has to wear earpieces at all times. He tries to write music like Beethoven because he thinks he being born deaf is no different from becoming deaf. Anybody including gorillas can learn sign language. <laughs> you think you're special? Nelson Mandela's funeral. I don't know what that means. But now, the blind Chad. Only person that can get away with wearing shades indoors. Um, Stevie Wonder, the coolest guy? Exactly. Some blind people use echolocation. That's pretty cool. You ever seen the, the clicky cane thing? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. No one else can read braille due to inferior touch sense. And he has a vicious dog always around, can take him anywhere, even in the presence of those allergic to dogs. This dog is unstoppable, just look at that thing! That is a terror of the night! That could mess up that virgin, this virgin is gonna die! He is gone! Pfft. Nothing! The Virgin K versus the Chad thumbs up. Um, need I say more? A Chad doesn't doesn't care. He doesn't have to, to show emotion by just putting a little K, just yeah. No. A Chad knows that you just need a, a a gigantic thumbs up. It's almost like an indication of his like this much, this big. The Virgin K is also an indication of the size of his Just that. Just a little letter. Just a few pixels. That's it. But the Chad, the Chad thumbs up, oh boy, look at that thing. Gigantic, gigantic. Here we have the Virgin Sip versus the Chad Quench. Now the Virgin, let me tell you how the Virgin sips, all right? He avoids eye contact with other drinkers. He drinks quickly before the fountain gets whole, cold and hurts his teeth. He drinks tap water full of metals from poorly maintained pipes. Rookie mistake. Often mistakes thirst for hunger. He's dangerously yellow urine. Low water consumption, afraid of urinating more than once per day. He walks to the water fountain to take one, one, sip after every set. Afraid of water fountain confrontation. He's acne and oily skin from poor hydration. 
He feels awkward carrying a water bottle, worries about being judged on its size. You think anyone cares? Patiently waits in line, always lets others go first. Disgusting, dis- oh, nasty. I can't believe I read that out loud. But now we have the Chad Quench, all right? Now listen, listen very closely. This is how a Chad drinks, all right? Take notes, kids. He is existentially thirsty. Primal instincts measure local humidity to within five decimal places. Genuinely enjoys drinking water. It's good for you. Need I say more? Never seen without ample hydration resources. Women love his water. Yeah, first he, he lures him in with the water and then he seals the deal. That's how a Chad works. He expends zero effort holding massive jugs, lifts them through force of personality alone has never experienced dehydration in his life. Never, not once. Drinks whenever he desires. UNICEF names clean water projects after him. Knowledgeable about the health benefits of optimum hydration. He's always happy to share. Urine meets EPA standards for drinking water and high quality distilled water, always ice cold. As well as beautiful, smooth, well hydrated skin. Don't you wanna be a Chad? Don't you wanna drink? Like a Chad, go out and buy one, two of those gigantic water jugs and just carry them around everywhere you go. I guarantee more women will start talking to you. It's, it's a fact. I personally, I've been carrying around giant jugs of water in public for about six years and I've almost gotten one phone number. This is a great example. Here we have the Virgin 511 versus the Chad six foot. All right, that everyone knows if you're 5'11", you're like, uh, nothing, hello. I mean, you gotta be six foot like me. Um, personally, I am 12 feet tall, all right? So I am a, I'm a mega Chad over here. I, I basically, I cannot stand indoors. Um, I hit the, the, the top of every doorway I go through. Um, it's actually quite bad. I have gotten some brain damage. Um, but, you know, I'm 12 feet tall, I get all the girls, so, I mean, who's really losing here? Um, no one. Now here we have the Virgin Organic versus the Chad GMO. Now this Virgin, alright, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm even, I'm even talking about this Virgin right now. He has pathetic, tiny fruit, lacking in nutrients, expensive, riddled with insects, the produce gets destroyed by diseases. And it's usually coated in pesticides. I mean, yeah, basically. Shrivels and rots within a couple of days. But now, the Chad GMO knows what he's doing, all right? Now his is fully grown in a day. It's completely immune to insects and disease with a beautiful, voluptuous color. Look at that, look at that apple. That is beautiful. Wouldn't you rather eat that than that tiny shriveled thing in the virgin's hand? That's disgusting. They can be grown anywhere. They are massive fruit. Look at that thing, that's gigantic. It completely triples the nutrients and literally never rots, never. I still have a GMO apple in my fridge that's been there since I was born. Now aren't these Chad and Virgin memes great? I mean, they're pretty good. They make me feel really good about myself. So I went and I made my own Chad and Virgin memes. Now these, these memes are special, they've never been seen by anyone else on the internet. I literally made them last night while watching The Office. We have the Virgin D'Angelo versus the Chad Michael Scott. Now let me tell you about this Virgin D'Angelo, all right? He has a receding hairline like an old man, yet curly hair like a 12 year old. Usually wears a stupid vest with a suit, it looks awful. He tries to replace a character who was on the show for seven years and doesn't even last four episodes. <laughs> that is bad. He has no cuties of his own. He never flashes anyone. He probably has a micro penis. He's literally Will Ferrell and he, and he has great depressing holes of hell for eyes. Okay, look at those things. Have you ever looked at Will Ferrell's eyes? Look. Do you see? There's, there's nothing there. But now, 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 the Chad Michael Scott, okay? This guy, this guy knows what to do. He has beautiful amber eyes that encapsulate you. Look at this man. Look at, look at him. He is literally Steve Carell. 
and he regrew his hairline from season one and two. I mean, did you guys see that? In season one, he had almost nothing, and then season two, he looks like a Greek god. I mean, wow. He always looks good, even when he's wearing a women's suit. He leaves the show for this love of his life, and is missed by everyone. He fake flashes people just for fun. Gets all the cuties that come into the office. Doesn't he get like 3,000 girlfriends in like a season? Um, that was great. Need I say more? Aren't you already convinced that D'Angelo is a garbage character and that Michael Scott is supreme? Next we have the Virgin Zuck versus Elon Chad. Now the Virgin Zuck, oh, I don't need to tell you about this guy. He probably can't drive since he's just a lizard. His wife is not goth. He wears the same thing every day, zero sense of fashion. He pisses off the US government and everyone on his god-awful website. He goes on a nationwide tour to seem more likable and people start calling him a lizard. I mean, you really can't do any worse than that. But now, Elon Chad. Okay, you guys already know how great Elon Chad is, I'm sure. Now this guy, he sent a car into space just for fun. He has a goth GF, have you guys seen that? Elon is a lucky man. He has stylish suits and good casual outfits too. He also made a flamethrower. Uh, that was pretty freaking cool. It could probably burn up the Zuck in like a second. And he claps back at people on Twitter and everybody loves it. It's great. The Chad Elon Musk versus the Virgin Zuck. Who will win? I think we both already know. And finally, we have the Virgin DC versus the Chad Marvel. They try to make a deep universe in like five movies. That's not nearly enough time and they all came out crap. They couldn't even make a good Superman movie. He's, he's Superman, he can do anything. How can you not work with that? They have to introduce two new main characters in Justice League. If your first Avengers film had, had, you have to introduce two characters in it, then you probably shouldn't be making it so quickly, should you? They somehow messed up the Joker, okay? Like, uh, you guys know. Uh, have you seen? Uh, this is disgusting. And Ben Affleck doesn't want to be Batman anymore. They scared away someone from doing Batman. And now the Chad Marvel. Oh my god, you guys already know about the Chad Marvel, of course. They have a deep universe that took over a decade to establish has stupid characters like Ant-Man, still makes millions. All the characters in Infinity War are well known and loved. Makes Thanos, a character who literally kills half of the universe, likable. All actors love being a part of the universe. It's, it's great. Have you ever seen those like hospital visits where they go and they like visit the cancer kids in costume? That is wholesome. Well, that's about it this time. Um, you, the memes are down below. I had a lot of fun with this one. I, I personally love um, just telling myself that I'm a Chad. It makes me feel really good about myself. That's about it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, goodbye.